still working rather nicely. As you know, we are using the Vorwerk as 12 vacuums of 12 bumps. And the Vorwerk has some tools which do not colour match it, but it is a complete set. However, however, oh, I've had this trying to fall off the top of my wardrobe now for several months, which is what's prompting me as I was up in the loft anyway to get this down. You see, it all clicks into place to get this down. We need to see what's inside that bag and then work out if we could get a nice colour map set, finally, for my vol work. Uh, let's have a look. Yes, hello, my vacuum cleaner chums. How are you today? Yes, I have more questions as always with Volwerk. It's such a difficult company to collect because they change so radically between generations. This bag is a VK Direct, and I think it is appropriate for this machine. This, I think, is the start afterwards. You'll have to tell me in the comments down below. Although it is a nicer bag, I'll be honest, I can't say we may not do something with it. But for now, and this is quite exciting for me because I've not done this either, we need to look inside of it. Well, I'll say not looks inside of it, I have it because I've chucked lots of stuff in it that's been scattered around the house for this video. So we'll get the disappointing bit out of the way. There's nothing in these pockets at all, fair enough. Oh, see, Phoenix has already found it and pooed on it. How lovely, we'll ignore that. They go to the washing machine nicely enough. And we'll open door number one, which is yet more hoses. Yay! And it's still a different colour. Yay! So we have another electric hose. Oh, gosh. We have another non-electric hose. We have a Polster Boy in the same sort of condition that my one was in when I got it, but equally my one does smell a little bit of burning, although it works fine, but yeah, it's a little bit iffy in there. What else have we got? We have an upholstery tool which is missing its lint strips, so I can't see that staying too much longer. We have another nice angled crevice tool. Oh, you know, still not the right colour, hey ho. Ooh, a, a different dish, I think, generation of this dusting brush with a little thumb thing rather than the massive clunky thing that mine's got. That's fair enough. And then we have some brushes. Always nice to have because I think these fit everything. Certainly the 350 heads and the 360 heads that we have. Anyway, good. What's inside this box? We have two bottles of Kobo Tech stain remover. Very nice indeed. Nice to have some cool stuff like this to the arsenal. This doesn't smell too unpleasant either. So that is what's under here. Again, not colour map, sadly. A little bit of a pain. Let's see what's underneath the other side because it too is full. Oh, stuff. We have another wall brush. We basically have a complete other set of tools. Maybe we'll just have this as the colour. We might now have enough to have this as the colour and at least it won't match the vacuum. Or I can then do what we have to do with the Kirby and we're going to have to get rid of this to buy the vacuum that matches the tools. Oh, why do we collect things? <sighs> Now these are the stuff that I sort of know about because it's been dotted around the house and it's now all having a place, so at least I can have the set. We have, we'll get one of these out in a minute, a Davinia chip set. Look at that, obviously not the Intel chip set. These are the fragrance tablets that sit in the top of the bag, which is very nice indeed. We have, oh, let's just tip this out, one, two, three bags of Lavinia. I've never tried this. Might have to now, but I've got some. I had some before. We'll get to that in a minute. 
might have to actually do the mattresses, try the kids' mattresses. I have a nice newer bag of Cobra Sam. Obviously, we've got some older stuff, but you know, it'll be fine. More bags, some nice carbony bags. I have these, which aren't for this at all. These are for the VK140 and 150. I don't think, are they genuine? I'm not sure, it might be, I don't know. Can't be bothered to look. But certainly decent quality anyway with a nice plastic top. Although actually nothing to do with what we have right now. These, which are, I think, the smashy chips for these, but then I think it might also use I don't actually know, folks. I'll have, to, I'll have to look at the manual that I know I have. Then another one, another little dusting brush end, another drill brush, and the strap. Fantastic. So, flip. We now have two full sets of tools because, yeah, oh gosh, in here is lots of stuff actually because I've put the two heads in here, so we'll take those out. Pop you to one side. Yeah, I sort of, dang it, I don't know really, because by the hose, this is the same size. I mean, yeah, we've got, look, we've got more bags there. Yeah, uh, I don't know, I think I might have to keep, we might have to get everything out. Should we do that? Should we just get everything out? There's the manual, we'll need that in a minute. Yeah, the polster boys are, yeah, look, even this polster boy is better than the one that came from Mr. James because it's got all of its writing on it and has been refurbished, although underneath is better. I don't want to make one into two though, two into one because it just takes the time. Yeah, look, here's the differences between these. Fair enough. Oh gosh. Yeah, I think I might just have to say that I'm going to have a full set of green tools with it. I think the Polster Boy is a different colour anyway. I think it's a different generation. I mean, if this isn't bad enough, I've got more tools elsewhere. I think I feel a job lot on eBay coming along with all of this. So let me get one nice set together. Okay, well, this took some working out, but I am there. This bag has a complete set of tools for the raw work that isn't this one. Out of the way, job done. I then have several parts for an EB360, the head generation. After this, two sets of mattress brushes, one set of dry cleaning brushes over there. Nothing to do with this. This is the ah, old brush roll for my VR100, which needs to go in the VR100 box. So all that is cool and out of the way. This tool bag now contains all of the actual coloured accessories for my machine. Then we have to include this strap because this hose does not come with that strap. And then obviously to use our holster boy, which I'm going to put in there, but we'll leave the hose out for a second because obviously I still want to test that. So this and that can go in there. We'll leave those in a minute. Here is my box of Lavinia, which I have had with this machine for ages. In here are the matches tools that go with this head. This head being the 350 slash 351 takes this style. Gosh, this has taken a lot of googling to work out. Takes this style of FK350, of which I have two, and I'm pretty sure they only actually fit one of these heads, and I've got even more of a feeling it's the one that I don't like or use that often anyway. So we'll cross that bridge the next time we do some dry cleaning, because we've, we've done that already. I don't think we'll be doing that again on this one. In my Lavinia box, I already have two, and the brochures and the stickers that you stick onto your mattress in order to know when you last Lavinia did. So that means oh, that we can take this newer style. So yeah, obviously, I think Mr. James has gave me these because it's newer. So hey, I don't know which one I'm going to use. I guess they'll both be absolutely fine. Oh look, the older packet went out of date. Whew, 12 years ago. 
just over. It's now nearly the beginning of December. I don't realize they have best before dates on them. Does the new packet? Yes, it does. Oh no, look, this one's out of date as well. Look, January, sorry, January 28th of May 2021. Oh, I didn't realize that. I mean, I still don't care, I'll be honest. It's fine. They're all sealed up, and I can put these all in here. Crikey, I'm. But now they do, don't they? Because my VK121 cable sand is like properly out of date. Yeah, look, 21st of July, 2021 for this cover sound. So yeah, yeah, I might use it upstairs. Oh, it's not gonna fit inside that box though without destroying that box. So I quite like that box, so we'll keep that in there. I also have two spare sets of brushes for these heads, and of course it has those in it now. So I'm wondering if we can consolidate everything. Oh look, they do. Look, we can fit the brush rolls in there. And the lid will still shut. Fat. And then I'll just put one box on the shelf. That's good to know. One bag of Cobra sand. How many bags do we have? Oh, I don't think they're all genuine, are they? Yeah, look, we've got two non genuine bags, and then one, two, three, four, five genuine bags. How lovely. I think we'll put the five. Genuine bags together oh, in one packet, and I may even now pop this to one side, and we'll keep these two pattern bags in here, and that can go in there because I'll probably fit another one after we've used it for 12 months. The instructions can also go in there, checking I don't bend them. Terrifically. And I think that is where we are. We do have a matching set for my VK136. I just don't think the 136 era ever came with a poster boy. But because Vorwerk, me and Vorwerk, kept the same design, just changed the colour, we are in the brilliant position that all I actually have to do is to find an EB360 head which is generation after this, and wha We've got all the brushes for it, it'll fit this machine. Hmm, maybe we should, or I just sell it all because I don't have one of those. Or oh, look out for whatever, what is it, 160, 150, 160? It's gonna be difficult. Right, so now we know where we stand. Let's clear what we don't need away because we need to get testing stuff. Now the first thing we'll do, well, it will stand up, right? is open the bag compartment and then make sure that the bag goes with the lid because I find it doesn't. Ah! It's been making ever such a slightly funny noise. Look, there's a piece of card. Corpse, in fact, you may as well go out. That's the other thing. If it's not 100% straight, it, it does like to lean. Oh, look, we'll, we'll push that in there. It got quite far. Yeah, look, the bags are getting there. But this is where we can fit our Davinia chip. And look, we've got instructions here. Look, and the 135 and 136 does feature. There we are. Let's rip, which one should we rip out? Let's rip out the barcode one. We don't care about that. Do these have a date on them? No, they don't. Oh, this is, no, they don't. So it's only the powders. Oh. Ooh. Smells, smells very nice. I hope it's not going to be too overpowering. And yeah, look, that just clicks into that bit there on the bag. And now, oh, in theory, we can pop the bag back into here. And that's, we now have an air freshener fitted to our lovely vacuum cleaner. So the next thing that we're going to do is to take off the hard floor head, I've forgotten its official name anyway, take our hose, and I have done a sneaky and kept the really clean hose that came with the other tool set, the one that I have kept for this was filthy, and you can't strip it and wash them, so I couldn't do anything about it. I don't care quite enough to go cleaning it all madly. Oh, that one doesn't seem to fully go down. That's probably my fault, but there we go. We'll just have to make sure that we bear that in mind 
if I ever pick it up. And yeah, oof. very awkward again, way before I felt, I think only the latest generation had the hose and the cable inside the hose. Oh, let's see if this one works. No, no, let's plug it in. God, I can smell that fragrance chip already. We're not even turned the flipping thing on yet. There we go. Okay, well that works well. as well it's like there's a valve that opens and there are many valves but I mean the suction still seems to be fine regular as clockwork yeah it certainly isn't as bad as mine Definitely smell burning coming from that vent. But I'm sure it's going to be fine. I'm going, I'm, oh, they are fiddly, fiddly things to take apart, so I don't think we will be doing this, although we can oh, take this. Oh God, bleh. that's what they get like, look, and then you've got to clean it all out. There's the, the suction port, and then the brush rolls and we can do this bit quite easily. You just have to unclick this entire cartridge, which I can't do without a screwdriver. But yeah, that's that's the brush carriage of a polster boy. They get filthy. And I don't think I'm going to clean it at all. Oh, it comes out on the front, not the back. My mistake. Yeah, so, okay, that's cool. We know that works at least, so I can sell it as, you know, it works. And I think, we have everything we need to set up for the cruising scene. And that gets us to here. So this is my Volwerk VK135. I am pretty confident this is original. This is what they would have come with, bar whichever one of those heads. They probably chucked them on with both all of the packets and stuff are the right era and design. Obviously we have duplicates of some things, and yeah, I'm pretty cool with this. Obviously definitely missing the manual, which is a bit of a shame. It'd be nice to get one of those. If you have a 135 manual, please do let me know. But I think, unless you're gonna tell me otherwise in the comments, this is complete and original. Then, if we add in the non-coloured hose there, and then coming over here, of course, we have the other stuff from Mr. J, which is, yeah, different packaging style, the newer era, but, you know, it's still perfectly fine that we can chuck another few Lavinias up on the pile, another packet of bags, and, yeah, we'll put this out of the way because this isn't for that. If you need it, let me know, but it'll probably, hopefully, have been sold before this video goes out. And this is now my VK13. Five, wherever the manual went. I think it's tucked away somewhere. Oh, and of course, mustn't forget, I have, oh gosh, another Cobra Sand brochure. An actual, ah, uh, well, you know, this, this, this sort of goes with this. I'll just scan this in, look. But it's the 140 era. Look, there's the VR100. Yeah, so actually this, this, this doesn't go with that. That's obviously the floor head that we need, so I'll keep an eye out for that. We obviously have... The Polster Boy, the upholstery pack. Yeah, we got all of that. So that doesn't go with it. The manual obviously doesn't go with it, but it's still here. In fact, it's in the bag, I think. L.I.E. manual. So yeah, need a 140 manual. 140. 135 manual, not a 136. But I'm happy enough. It all works. And we can certainly have some fun with this. I'm going to obviously keep using it. There's 12 vacuums for 12 months. For December, probably not all of it though. Crikey, this must have been nearly two grand's worth when it was new. Whoo, whoo! And it, well, the main machine cost me 30, which obviously came with the brand new pulley nuts, which was great. 
No, I don't think I actually spent anything else on it, because bless you, Mr. Jane gave us the donor machine and the first set of tools that created this. And then obviously Mr. James keeps on throwing lovely four work parts at me. So for £30, I am very happy with it. I hope you are too. Please comment down below with anything I might be missing, anything I might have missed in my description and knowledge intake of it. Because, yeah, I'm still trying to learn. We got there with me 120, 121, whatever that was. Now we'll get there with this. And do you have one? Do let me know. Be interested to hear your thoughts. But until next time, I thank you very much for watching. And I am this. We'll see you soon. Happy vacuuming.